G'day beaks and beaks to be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. Airspace is the killer in beehives. You must wait until bees cover the all frames before an extra super is being put on, irrespective of how many supers you put on. Because of the small hive beetle, it is best only to work a maximum of three supers high at any one time. I have had people ring me up saying that they have molasses running out the front of their hives and I've asked them what the problem was and uh, they said that uh, instead of extracting the honey they put an extra super on. What beekeepers do not know is that when a super is full of honey there's no work for the bees to go up there and work it and that's a recipe for the small hive beetle to overtake the hive and that can occur within two to three weeks very very quickly. This particular stand has three supers or three storeys high 10 frame full depth hives for honey production. When the top super is full of honey, the middle one at least half to three quarters full, the top super is removed for extraction. Every frame of pollen or honey that is left in the brood chamber, you are missing out on 3,000 bees every three weeks for high honey production. This is the story of H6. Uh, about six weeks ago, I upgraded her because she had bees bubbling out over the top and I upgraded it to a double honey hive. However, during that time, um, there was a bit of a, a dearth on in the area and I believe that she has superseded in that time and bee numbers have gone right down. So today's job is actually to knock this double 10 frame hive, essentially, down into a, a double nucleus hive. So we're gonna condense the space because last we checked, there was too much air space to effectively build bee numbers back up. So that's our little job for today. Right, so we found the queen and uh, Lionel's now marking her. She's definitely a new queen and she is not marked or clipped. Yep, nice mark on her back and I clipped her right wing. She's probably around December, I think she's superseded. And then we cage her. And over here we've uh, we've got uh, checked the brood and the, the uh, Queen and the bees are only working brood on the one half of the, of the hive, which is about four or five frames of brood. So we're going to put all that sealed brood down into the bottom super of, of this nuke, and then another another nuke super on top with empty frames, so she she can uh, lay, and the warmth will keep the bees increasing. So after, after that double uh, honey hive, we've now changed it back to a four super high four frame nucleus hive. Heat rises and you find that they will increase in bee strength quite uh, can, in a very short period of time. There's a du double uh, eight frames there of brood, two four frames with an excluder, and then there's another two honey supers above that. So uh, we'll check this in probably three or four weeks time and uh, you'll see the results where airspace in beehives is the killer. We're going to do the same with this one here. There's uh, only a few bees in this in this particular one, so uh, we're going to do exactly the same as uh, as we just uh, completed this other one. So we had to uh, move the hives out of the area for survival of the nukes. The dearth lasted for another four to six weeks. Mm -hmm.